This is Jim Bob Duggar, and we want to invite you to the Family Conference at Big Sandy, Texas at the Alert Academy. It's April 24th through 29th, 2017. Our family's going to be here. We're going to be camping out here at the campground, and we'd love for y'all to come join us. We're going to be speaking. The Bates family will also be here. They have 19 children, and there'll be probably about 2,000 people here. There's all kinds of activities for all the kids. Uh, there's the Alert Cadet Program for young men. There's the Commit Program. Uh, pre-embassy, just all kinds of fun things. Even our little ones are involved in the Children's Institute. So please join us uh, coming up in April. Make this your family vacation. You will love it. from Without a Crystal Ball, welcome back to my channel. It's to Friday, January 7th, and you guys, so there's something we need to talk about. You know, every once in a while, I get a Duggar that comments on my posts or that shows up or looks at my stories or whatever. And some of you in the comments will say like, you think that nobody watches you, why would you give advice or why would you say anything? I know that they watch, not all of them, but from time to time they check in. And yesterday, Jana Duggar's best friend showed up in my comments and dropped like a little emoji and then left. But she showed up after I had found some details about her that apparently might have rippled some feathers or ruffled some of her feathers. So let's talk about this. I'm not here to uh, be rude or cruel. I just want to share what's going on. So I have been going through for the last several weeks, very old archives of the IBLP's newsletters. One of my interests in this cult is that they have been able to infiltrate our mainstream media through multiple shows, including Counting On and Bringing Up Bates. Two families, the Duggars and the Bates have been able to successfully achieve mainstream appeal and through their platforms they've been able to recruit for this organization. The organization is controversial and it has very, very troubling beliefs and their leader, Mr. Bill Gothard, was ousted back in 2015 or 20, 2015 after a huge scandal and he got sued by multiple people for allegations of essay and SH. So Bill Gothard has been out, but none of the teachings have left. And even th though a lot of people have left the organization, there are people that are still loyal to the teachings that remain. A lot of you wonder about someone that is seen in photographs frequently with Janet that's been on the show that's helped with programs, uh, organizing different weddings, an event planner named Laura DeMace that showed up on the show. Laura is listed as Jana's best friend, and a lot of you were wondering, like, where did she come from? What is going on here? And let's, there's always the looming, like, rumors about the two of them being in a relationship, which is simply not true. So Laura has a close relationship with the Duggars and is often seen in photographs with them. She goes to, she travels with Jana. She does interior design with Jana, and she also works for the IBLP. So when I was looking through some of the archives, I noticed that she was in 2007 traveling to Russia with Bill Gothard to an orphanage. I also noticed that in 2013, she was promoted as a leader of the Commit Conference, which is a conference for young girls, which teaches them about biblical submission and how to be an obedient housewife and you know, getting away from rejection of all the feminist ideals. In the IBLP, women do not have rights in terms of the ability to work or hold jobs, or really they're told that their job in life is to be a uh, wife and a mother and to listen to and obey their husbands. Now in the IBLP, women are allowed to lead other women, but men are only allowed to lead the overall organization. So for years, Miss DeMazy, who is Laura, who happens to be Jana's best friend, has worked for the IBLP. 
She did work in a prison ministry. She's done work hosting the commit conferences, and she's also done work in embassy media, which is the media uh, library that is owned by the IBLP that houses all of their digital media and all of their digital content that you can click and watch online. They have subscriptions that you can join to watch the seminars and the different videos and learn all the different things that the IBLP wants to teach you. Laura's own Facebook account says that she uh, works for Embassy Media. She's also a staple fixture with the Duggars and recently as like November was helping Jim Bob with his media, social media for his race for Senate in the state of Arkansas. So I made a post on my Instagram because a lot of you guys have had questions like, why is Laura always around? What's going on with Laura? Why does she seem to be li living with the Duggars? Who is this woman? Why has she been with Jana all these years and like constantly like this fixture in Jana's life? And it's in a post I shared, I said, Laura DeMace has been working for the IBLP for a very long time. In recent years, Laura has managed Embassy Media where the IBLP houses all their digital content. Back in 2007, she and a select group traveled with Gothard to Russia to help work in orphanages. The IBLP has been heavily infiltrated with the Russian government and spent years working in Russian orphanages. The Russian branch was the most frequently featured by Bill Gothard and seemed to be one of the largest. Large Laura has deep roots in the IBLP a survivor of the cult told me that they believe that she is allowed to be around Jana so that so much because she is a safe person that will keep Jana on track and in line with the IBLP teachings. And that was the belief of the person around them, which is not uncommon. They talk about parents safeguarding their children from bad friends, bad influences. And she's 32 years old, so she, you know, theoretically, uh, Jim Bob still thinks he has control of her. So somebody made a comment, they said this, what is the deal with Laura? What family is she from? How does she know the Duggars? What works for them as a, she works for them as a teacher, right? But what's the deal with her? I didn't answer the question before I saw Laura post a little like emoji like this. Now I have to m mention here that this is the first time Laura's ever interacted with me on Instagram. I don't know anything about her beyond that she worked at the IBLP and that she's Jana's best friend. And we know her as Jana's best friend on this channel. So I was like shocked because she's done similar things like this. She has been, she has shown up on Amy uh, Duggar King's Instagram and posted like comments when people criticized a Amy during the trial for uh, speaking out against like the, the the lack of emotions that people in the IBLP are allowed to have. And Laura felt like that, you know, she said amen to someone saying that, why do you have to constantly throw shade at your cousins or something like that? So Laura seems to like show up, say something, post an emoji and then dip out. And then Amy King kind of went after her and said something like, you know, be careful who you work for or something like that. I can't remember exactly. So I was like, well, she's here, she's listening, she's watching, w what is she here for? I asked her a bunch of questions. I asked her about, you know, I responded to her and I said, Laura, maybe you should tell her about yourself. I'm sure she'd like to know. We also would love to hear you denounce the horrific SA that occurred in the Duggar house. It would be great to hear you speak out against CSAM, none of which you've done. And then People kind of got upset with her for the emoji that she chose. Finally, and I posted one more thing. And I said, also, I'm wondering if you could let your bestie know that she doesn't need to stay under her dad's control. She can move out. She will be 32 next week. Maybe you could send Anna a message that she's a victim of DV and her children need to be seen by forensic psychologists because Josh is a P and she can divorce him. Thanks. Oh, and tell your boss hi for me. Now she dipped out and she like didn't show up, like she never came back. Like she made the post and then she made a reel where she used uh, 50 cents, what you know about me or what you, uh, P-I-M-P, which is weird because she's an IBLP and they don't like that kind of music. But I think she was trying to be cute and cagey because people started following her after I made that post about her. I was going through just to get a better insight of like who Laura is and I was looking through older details about Laura and she is actually someone that 
In 2013, they hosted the, the Commit Conference, and the Commit Conference is for young girls and mothers, and Laura was a team leader of this, and this actually happened to be at the same event that the Duggar girls spoke at, and in the leadership conference that was, you know, this is from, I found this on the Wayback Machine, it says, many girls struggle with their identity and pressure of peers, the expectations of being perfect Christians, how can you, how can your faith go from intangible to unshakable that is the topic we will be talking about at this year's commit sessions we will deal with doubts from the culture of our day having a belief system that is rooted in truth and learning how to give wise answers to those who ask why we are different so that was from that then i also noticed in 2013 they listed her in a newsletter about the prison ministry and they stated that two iblp headquarters staff becky and laura demazy had the blessing of working under the experienced chaplain Holyfield with these youthful offenders in a prison ministry. And then I found out on Pinterest that she has a Pinterest board and I noticed that she also posts for Embassy Media because that's where she is listed as an employee right now. Embassy Media, again, being the branch of uh, the IBLP's library, digital library, and there was a pinned video of Jim Bob Duggar who was inviting people to come to the IBLP. And the video pin says, check out this video about the family conference from Jim Bob Duggar. We are excited to have the Duggars speaking this year. So Jim Bob has gotten in chummy with the woman who runs the media with the IBLP. And that same woman happens to also help him with his own social media and helped him with his election social media. She also plans and puts together their weddings. She's also done their baby showers. She's also organized seminars and hosted seminars. So she's someone that's deeply rooted in the IBLP that Jim Bob has in some ways welcomed into her family and has placed as sort of a close confidant to Jana and knowing that she's so deeply rooted in the IBLP it's likely that she and Jana keep each other on track um, specifically to the IBLP principles and Jim Bob might just trust Laura because of her long-standing relationship with the IBLP it's not uncommon for friends to like parents to have accountability partners for their kids and make sure that they have friends that will keep them you know, on par with the IBLP. So that part doesn't surprise me, but what surprised me was that the IBLP was using Jim Bob Duggar, producing videos that he never published, like they never published on their website. He posted it on his page. So Jim Bob for years was posting these invitations for people to come to the conferences. I thought that he was just making them himself. I had no idea that Embassy Media was producing them and then using the Duggars to basically make commercials, then they would post on their YouTube channels and their Instagrams to invite you to come to their conferences. They actually did one of these as far back as April of last year, uh, right before Josh got arrested, they were inviting people to come to the conference. So knowing that for dec you know, over a decade, the IBLP was crafting and creating invitations making it look like the Duggars were simply inviting some friends to hang out and knowing that it was produced by the IBLP makes me feel like, wow, this is really deceptive. They literally, it wasn't just Jim Bob that was on TLC, it was Jim Bob and the IBLP. And when you start to think about it in that context, it's kind of scary because the Bates still do this to this day. So he's very close to the person in the IBLP who runs their ministry and the same outlet embassy media promotes jim bob's content for the iblp helps jim bob promote that so it's like they have this equal relationship where they promote jim bob jim brown promotes them and then laura helps in their house works for the duggars as a confidant of the duggars friends it's just a very tangled web my concern more than anything is her connection to the commit conference which is this conference that's all about teaching women about rejection of regular like life like so the commit conference says as our society strays further from biblical principles godly femininity is under attack many mothers and daughters desire to remain true to god's word 
They are bombarded by distractions on every side and are at times driven to exhaustion or frustration by many things that they have to do. So they're taught all about biblical roles of women's submission and how to be an obedient daughter and wife. It's kind of sad, which then gets me to another aspect of the, the IBLP that's deeply disturbing, and that is that they have girls sign what's called a covenant contract with their fathers to remain pure and give their fathers the right to uh, actually marry them. So the covenant contract, which says this is a future life partner. It says a covenant between father and daughter as witnessed by the Lord Jesus Christ. We agree together to seek God's best concerning a future life partner. Father, I will protect you from unqualified men. I will teach you God's principles of life and I will pray for you and your God's and God's choice for your life partner. And the daughter says, I will keep myself pure for my husband. I will obtain your blessing on my courtship and I will wait for your full release before entering into marriage. Now, if Jim Bob had his daughters sign this, this could also be why Jana doesn't leave if she has to get his full release to leave the home. They're signing the rights to their future, to their fathers, to pick out their spouses for them. And then they're saying to their dads, I'll remain pure, I'll let you bless my courtship, and then I'll let you basically pick my husband, and then once I do that, you can release me and I won't leave until that happens. That's a contract, and they say that a covenant is between God and you and the other person, which can't be broken. So there's a lot of ways the IBLP keeps girls in a way of complete submission and obedience. Now, the irony here is that Miss Laura is running around the world and has a job and travels and she's lived in Illinois. She's spent time in Arkansas. She goes back home and I think stays with her mom. But for the most part, she lives relatively independent when Jana doesn't get the same courtesy. You would think that you would be consistent and you would walk the talk or walk the walk and talk the talk. And it doesn't seem like Laura does that. Now, she might just be dedicating herself to the ministry, but at the same time, if you can have the independence, why can't Jana? And why aren't you helping Jana get independence unless you feel like you're getting something from this relationship or you feel like you know you're, there's benefits you're getting from the Duggars? It's, it's a very odd dichotomy. But either way, she shows up, she puts her hands up in the air, and then she disappears. And it's just weird, but it's more proof that they do pay attention to what I say. So if you're wondering the details about their relationship, that's what it is. It's rooted in the IBLP, uh, her deep ties to the IBLP, her you know experience with helping women stay obedient and submissive, and probably just a safe friend that Jim Bob allows Jana to have. And that's gross to say that, but it's the truth, in my opinion. All right, you guys, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below.